On the line with us, we've got our favorite the fence website and person, Jennifer Jaber with riblogger.com. She's going to let us know about the top five events here happening in Rhode Island. Make sure to check out that website as well. Uh, super easy to use, and you'll find out about everything going on, virtual and non-virtual events uh, at riblogger.com. Jennifer, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure, my friend. What's up? What do we got? So our first event you can attend virtually or in person um, until February 7th, starting January 15th, the Wickford Art Association presents the black and white exhibit. Um, the opening is January 15th. You have to register in advance if you want to attend the actual opening. Um, and it features artists interpreting interpretation <laughs> across all media um, about this diverse subject. There'll be over 50 works by artists from all across the nation. Um, the in-viewing is Wednesday to Thursday. Saturday from 12 to 4 and Sunday 12 to 3. And then the full exhibit is also av available online um, in a virtual format at wickfordart.org. So if you're more comfortable seeing it online, you can do that as well. Nice. Uh, this is exciting. I don't know if you've heard of this yet, uh, but the PVD Restaurant Week presents Stay Local, Eat Well. It actually started on January 10th, but it goes to February 6th. And um, you can warm up your winter with four weeks of delicious dinner specials. Actually, it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner depending on the restaurant. So some will be doing all three. Um, and there'll be, uh, the participating restaurants will just, it's kind of like a restaurant week, but it's going a little bit longer and it's just, you know, getting us out there and getting us back into the restaurants. And it's also dine-in, dine-out, and most of them are also takeout as well. And they'll have cocktail specials, um, there'll be family dinner specials and all kinds of different enticing offers. So um, there's lots of participating restaurants as well. So it's a good reason to get out and, and get back into those restaurants. Saturday, January 3rd is the School of Rock, uh, 12 to 5 at Pablo Park. It's a great cause to support. It's also on their Facebook Live and in person. So it's talented students performing um, and supporting the local musician scene. So you can go in there and support these local aspiring students. And if you're not comfortable quite yet in person, you can also view it online. And it's $10 and all ages are welcome. So you can go Facebook Live or go there to Pablo Park. Uh, this sounds really interesting. Monday, January 25th, you can learn culinary secrets um, from the best at the Stadium Theater at 7 p.m. Enjoy a night filled with delicious food and refreshing cocktails. So basically the, the celebrity um, chefs will show you how to make their favorite dish paired with a cocktail. And then you get to sample them and you'll be dining station so you'll feel safe and comfortable. And then you get recipe cards to take home if you wanna go home and do it again at your own house. That's a great idea. I know, right? I'm excited. I'm, I'm planning on hopefully, hopefully attending that. <laughs> um, and <laughs> last but not least, Burger and a Brew at 579 Benefit Street Restaurant takes place every Wednesday in Pawtucket. So with the purchase of a burger, you get a free beer of your choice. And again, that's every Wednesday from four to nine. So you got choices, you know, plenty of times to get out there. Yeah, burgers and beer. So, you know, that's just right up my alley. All about yeah. it. Win-win, right? Yeah, total win-win. <laughs> <laughs>